Tears are necessary to clean and protect our eyes or even provide emotional release. But what if you couldn't stop crying? Well, Doris reached out to us with that problem. We sent her to Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler. So maybe you could tell me a little bit about the problem you're having with your eyes. A couple of years ago, I noticed that this eye was just tearing. Now the right eye is doing the same thing. How many times a day are you dabbing the eyes? Maybe 20 to 25 times. Oh, wow. And how long has that been going on for? For a couple of years. So have you had infections in the eyes? This left eye a week ago was infected. So I'm going to have you bring your chin right up there. I'm seeing a lot of dropout of these my bomian glands at the edge of the eyelid. Normally when I press on the edge of those glands, I should see oil come out and I don't see anything coming out and that is not right. So Doris, you actually have two issues going on. The first issue is that you have clogged and inflamed my bomian glands. Now regarding the other issue, which is the blocked nasolacrimal duct, I wanna do a flushing to see if we can undo the blockage, or if we can't, we'll talk about options on how to get that repaired. Great, thank you. Doris and Dr. Boxer Walkler join us now, and th this is not uncommon, right? We definitely see this. We see this condition, tearing, it's common. And so, during your evaluation, you mentioned two things that you found going on with Doris, and uh, tell us what you did. So first we found that she had Mybomian gland dysfunction, which is a fancy way of saying blepharitis or inflamed clogged oil glands that can cause tearing and swelling and irritation. But then also when we did that irrigation, we found her tear duct was blocked and also infected. And so when your tear duct is blocked, those tears build up, they have nowhere to go. And so you tried a few things, right, in the office, and you also have this fancy dancy device over there. So, so talk about that. Well, what I love now when we treat blepharitis is that we first flush out the glands and this device does that. So as a video showed, we place this little unit with a numbing drop so it doesn't hurt at all. And it's a 12 minute process where we place this and it actually goes between the eye and the eyelids. A unit heats up the glands from behind so it liquefies them. And then these little air bladders massage and compress. So it's like a spa treatment for the eyelids to clean out these blocked inflamed glands. And that's what we did with her. And then we followed that up. She's using testosterone cream for maintenance so the glands don't get re-inflamed again. So what does someone like Doris do now? Because is this a great option for people who have blepharitis, some of these issues? Um, but what's next for Doris? So now that she's been on antibiotics, oral and antibiotic eye drops, we're gonna have her come back to the office next week. I'm gonna try to flush again because it was clogged, the, the tear duct itself. So I'm gonna see if treating the infection inside that duct allows us to clear it out. And so chronic tearing, you can have obstructive tear duct, overproduction of tears, there are many different causes. Point here is, are you glad that you're getting some answers? I am so glad I'm getting some answers and just that you discovered the other gland issue problem, I had no idea about that. I, I didn't even know if that existed. And it's often overlooked because they look at the eyelids and they just pass right over those oil glands without ever pressing to see if they're clogged. And that's what we did. It's a simple thing to do, but unfortunately a lot of doctors you don't know, do that. part of eye exams. We talk about getting regular eye exams. Part of that is getting a nice look around the eye, which is of course part of what your issue was. We wish you the best of luck going forward, Thank Dr. 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 Dr